give your audience an opportunity to know which other videos actually you have <laughs> guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is me Misha, and we are still on Mimi spot so today i want to show you guys how to add end screens on your youtube video so you give your audience an opportunity to know which other videos actually you have in your youtube channel so they can know and probably they click on and go on and watch your video or your playlist actually adding end screens on your youtube videos is very important it's one way of promoting your youtube channel because that's the only way that your video is gonna be your next video is gonna be suggested to your audience like if you when your audience is still watching or person is still watching your video this video is gonna be suggested at the end so away from that this is like you so promoting yourself within youtube itself like youtube gives you a lot of platforms where you can promote your channel and make it grow the worst mistake you can do to yourself is not to take advantage of these promotions and features that can help you to promote your channel within youtube actually for free you can utilize the space you have on every one of your videos by adding the end screen this is something that you should utilize and you should use to the maximum so with all that said let's go right into the video but so go right ahead on your laptop on your computer and open your browser so when your search bar pops up or this um the news page a feed page pops up go ahead and uh, type in the search bar youtube we're going to be doing uploading a new video in youtube and we're going to use it to add end screens because i want to show you how to add end screens on a new uploaded video so just go ahead and type in youtube my computer is a little bit slow today i don't know why but we'll work with that <laughs> click on youtube to continue so it's going to take us to our home page where we are right now. We're just waiting for it to open completely and then we start our process. So go ahead and click on your profile photo for the drop down menu to pop up. so as you can see there is a menu there on the right hand side of your channel but we're gonna go on and click on our youtube studio this is gonna take us to the channel dashboard or the studio sh dashboard where we're gonna be working on or continuing from From the studio dashboard is where we can go ahead, of course, and uh, create video or upload a video or something like that. But I am already uploading a video, so I'll skip that and go directly to the next step, which is the video element. So after you have downloaded, uploaded your video, you will be on this page and you will see the word video element. So if you've been skipping this process, this is where right now you have to do this process. You have to wait until the video is 100% uploaded so after the video is uploaded you can go now on and click on the word video elements and when it's completely uploaded you see the words are now in blue before they were faded but right now they're in blue they are colored so your video down here so shows finished processing they can only come out when your video has finished processing so you can import an image from your video but we're going to be adding elements instead so click on add so when you click on add it takes you to the end screen page where there is element import from video whatever you want you can also import it from the video so you can use that your end screen element or you can just go through the templates and choose any element that you want to add on your video so i'm just going to be choosing a random element that i'll be using in my video i'll choose that because it's going to be aligned a little bit in the side so i won't cover everything in my video and just like you can see there are two elements and then my profile pic so i'm going to be choosing the video for the first part of the element and on the side here there is a best review there is most recent uploads and there is most recent upload best review but you go on and say choose specific video so you can choose it yourself you can choose the right video the reason you choose specific video is you you want to choose a video that relates to the video that you're uploading at the moment 
don't make it like you're doing a tutorial about how to people to upload thumbnails and you put an end screen of you doing yoga so you want to choose something that is related so in the second box we're gonna go on and choose a playlist that's all you can choose there you can choose two videos you can only choose one video and a playlist so stick click on the pen sign so it takes you to your playlist you want to choose a playlist that still matches with the video or the topic that you're talking about right now so after that you can go on and adjust the time that you want your play the end elements to start popping up in your videos but if you're contented with the time that youtube sets for you that is automatic you can of course just leave that there and go on and proceed to either save or discard the changes discard the changes me discard changes means that you want to change your elements or you want to change something or you don't want the elements anymore so when you're contented with everything the next thing we're gonna do of course is gonna just be going in the corner the upper right corner where there is save or discard and save that so let's just go on and save because I am contented with everything. So after saving, you're going to notice that where there is end screen at the end, there is now edit. There is no add. And there is a green mark which shows that your video has end screens. And that's all we need. So thanks a lot guys for watching. I am Mimisho and we are still on Mimis. So don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to let me know guys what do you think about the tutorial. Should I actually produce more tutorials guys for you? Let me know which other tutorials you want me to make for you guys in the comment section below. And with all that say, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can become part of the family. Turn on the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That's the only way I can know that you guys you like this tutorial and I'll get a Courage to produce more for you. Peace, a sign out. We'll see us in my next video. Cheers.